So again, we're asked to evaluate a function at specific values. The difference is, is that now we're looking at expressions of variables that we substitute instead of just numerical values. Uh, the process is essentially the same. Whatever is in parentheses, that's what we substitute for x. And then we simplify. So with our first one, we're asked to evaluate the function g of x equals 4x minus 7 at g of m squared. So we literally just substitute m squared for any place that we have x and then simplify. So g of m squared equals 4 times m squared minus 7. And in this case, we literally just remove the parentheses. g of m squared equals 4m squared minus 7. Part B, we're given g of x minus 3, so let's go ahead and write out g of x equals 4x minus 7. So g of x minus 3, replace any place that there's an x with x minus 3. So this is 4 times x minus 3 minus 7, and then we simplify. Distribute the 4, we get 4x minus 12 minus 7. And then combine like terms, we get g of x minus 3 equals 4x minus 19. Now the part C, we're looking at performing an operation after we substitute. So what I'd like to do with this is let's find each. We already have g of x. We have g of x equals 4x minus 7. So let's find g of 3 first. So g of 3 equals 4 times 3 minus 7, which equals 12 minus 7, which equals 5. So then we would substitute what we found for g of 3 in our expression g of x minus g of 3 equals, well, g of x is just 4x minus 7, and that's minus, and we found that g of 3 is 5, so that equals 4x minus 7 minus 5, which equals 4x minus 12. So g of x minus g of 3 equals 4x minus 12. And again, the process is essentially the same as what it has been in the past. We're just looking at expressions that we substitute instead of just numerical values. And in the case of part C, we're performing an operation uh, for two substitutions, even though the, the first one is just the function itself, g of x.